Okay, this material is available in your canvas. Huh? So you need to conduct these six experiments. So first is impact test, second is the microstructure. This one, experiment two, you do it in the mechanical lab with this uh, M20. Uh, next week, this one next week. Okay, then uh, experiment three, effect uh, test in the M11. Uh, behavior of plastic material, this one also next uh, this week in the material lab. Thermal conductivity, uh, this one also. Okay, so you go to the first one. This one you read lah. Okay, next uh, this Wednesday, remember to uh, wear cover shoes ah. Cover shoes. Uh, short pen is okay. Uh, to me lah, uh, I uh, my 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 minimum requirement is cover shoes ah. Okay, so okay, the first experiment is this machine. Okay, so this machine is a called impact test. Okay, so we will learn about this uh, impact test or uh, properties of material um, in uh, in chapter five, right? But anyway, I will just brief you guys how uh, this one. So the machine that in our lab is broken down. So I'll just brief you guys what is this experiment about. Okay, so uh, you are still seeing the same thing. So you'll be measuring the H and the H here. Right. So what you do is that you go to the website, you go to the website and okay, you go to the website and type in choppy impact test. OK, this one, this one, choppy impact test. This this machine is called uh, choppy. Okay, this machine is called choppy test. C-H-A-R, choppy test. Then you go to one website, uh, Silver Planets. Right. Go to this website. Okay, so this one you read lah. This one you read. What is uh, this one? Basically, you are measuring. So, uh, it's just like a hammer. It's like a hammer. You see here, uh, this diagram. You see here, you just swing the the hammer up to this. Uh, there's a like a pro protector, a pro pro protector, the the angle one, right? The the one that you can measure angle. So this one, you move the hammer horizontally, and then. You release it and it will swing down because of the gravity. So you swing down and then hit the sample. You break the sample. Like this one, you swing, hit the sample. Okay. Then you will swing and then they will, uh, from here, once it swing, then it will continue to move, right? This, this, this arm only to move until it loses all energy. Then it will, uh, the body will, will swing back. So it will reach a maximum angle up to here. So they, they, the another end of here, they were pointing to a certain angle. So initially, the, 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 the arrow is pointing like this. Right? So when you swing, knock, then energy absorb, then it will swing a bit, then it will automatic move back. So when it reach maximum already, this one, it will point to a certain degree. So by this degree, you calculate the energy. Okay, this is a concept. Okay, so this one you read, what is the importance? So uh, ours one you will be similarly look like this, right? So next week, what you do is that you uh, take photo of the instrument and then you can refer to this website and you can, ref you, you know how to do citation, right? Citation in the document. Okay, a uh, reference, reference, you know how to do it. Right? Uh, you know how to do it. Right? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So you go to here. Okay. Like for example, you copy this one from website, right? Uh, you put to the center. Uh, then caption ma. Uh, insert caption. Okay. Figure one. Uh, what is this? Choppy. But this one you. Need to change the font uh, according to the document. Right. Then uh, eleven or twelve uh, depends. Right. The the this one. Uh, okay. Ah, that's why uh, I asked you. Do you know how to do? All right. So you go here the back. Let's say you copy from this website, right? So you go to back of this one, and then you go insert. Not insert. Sorry. Go to reference here. 
reference and then there is a lot of thing here. So you go to this one style APA. OK, so we are using APA. Uh, some maybe when you write report, some of your lecturer like to use IEEE or other things uh, or Harvard. But our class, I think we go for APA. Uh. So you go click, make sure you choose APA. Then what you do, you go here, insert citation. You click this one, add new source. Okay, add new source. You will come up with all this uh, uh, table for you to fill in. So what is important, you go here. The first thing you go, you mean you work from the top to bottom. So you go here, type of source. So type of source, let's say you're copying from site, or website. So what you do, you go back to a document, drop down. You can choose, go here. There's a lot of things. You go to this website here. Okay, choose website. So then once you choose that site, then, then you start filling all this already. First thing you fill in URL. Lah. URL means you go to here, copy, paste inside here. Okay. Then author, there must be someone writing this one. So you go to the website, you go and find out who write this one. All right. There must be someone write this this uh this website one or maintaining this website. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe it's Balala. So okay, so you copy here, put in here, Bala. Name of the website is this one. We go to here. But try not to use a uh, website la, unless that is your final resources. La, huh? uh, try not to use Wikipedia. Avoid Wikipedia at all costs. Why? Can you change data inside there? Uh, so like today, Today is one value. Tomorrow, you, you your friend want to play jokes with you. You go inside Wikipedia, go ahead and change. Uh, then it's not a valid thing. Lah. Okay. So here, uh, name a website, uh, name uh, name of the web page, name the website, you just copy, same. Here, uh, you go here, lah. go to the, here, 203. You fill in all these things. Month is the, okay. maybe you open this one all up. When you open this one, show all uh, bibliography field, you see all the star. Star one means all the all the important data must be inside there. So month is uh, September. Day is uh, 18. Okay, you can go here. Year access also same. Put the date you access. Nine. In. Okay, version all these don't have. Uh, DOI all these don't have, so click OK. So it automatic put the citation for you. But this is not enough, right? So in your report, last section of the report is reference list. What you do, you type reference list, lah, or if you're lazy, you just go here. You go here, go to the top here, reference, select reference, right? Then go here, bibliography. You go to references. Click this one. It will come out automatic everything for you. Okay, so this is how you do it. But again, for your report, are you okay? I delete this one. Eh? Okay, so what you do, you go to reference, you go to reference, then go to bibliography. Just now you insert my insert already. So it bibliography, then go to reference. Okay, click this one. So this only one one spot, but you have many. Uh, you have many. So this one is the one of example. So what you do is that uh, once you paste this one. Your reference, this one you just copy lah. Uh, you just copy and then in your report you paste it back. Uh, this is just uh, for you to when you do your like report, you put inside there and then this one you can copy, you can delete and then you copy to the or can put this one at the last page of your report. Uh, so this one you put a reference. Uh. Yes, yes, it will come out with whatever you put in for this document. Okay, so let's say, oh, there is an error you put inside there. Let's say you, you the, the name of the author, you accidentally typo error. So what you do, you go to here. In, uh, okay, sorry, manage source. You click manage source. So this one is already what I previously included uh, in my computer, in my Microsoft Word. So I go to find the uh, Bala, lah. Uh, this one. So I go to Bala, I click edit. So I go back here, maybe Bala is wrong, Bala something, right? Okay. Click yes. So you automatic update, then close. So you automatic update. So 
here change already, but here didn't change. What do you do? You go move your mouse here, right, uh, left, right, right click, update view. You see the name will change, huh? update view. So it change. Okay, so this is how you do it. Lah. Okay, of course, uh, maybe you need to remove the highlight things. Lah. Okay, so this one you tidy up. Uh, maybe you need to put it put it more tidy. Lah. Okay, so like this, this is how you do. Lah, huh? Okay, so Okay, so how the test is doing do ah? Uh, so I will give you the see the video ah. Uh. So you. Our one is not that big, but it's a scale down model. Uh, we will give you the sample of the impact test, and uh, then you see what what. Then you take photo lah. Take photo of the sample. So is zero is zero the the initial position. Uh, then. So this one, he just test the thing. So we put a sample, and this one is S two three five carbon steel. So you're seeing a raw sample like this. So there is a locking mechanism there. And this is the impact, uh, another arm that knocked the thing. Then you cram the sample over here. Cram the sample. So this is the head. Lah. So you are not like a playing golf. Lah. You swing the thing, knock the thing. So you will you will tell you where does it stop? So MGH is the energy, potential energy. So the, you have a starting position. So it will be big H. So you reach a maximum point where it gives you a small H after you knock the thing because of energy absorbed here or release here, then it will continue to disperse until maximum point. So the, the energy used to knock this demand is maximum minus minimum means the H at the maximum potential minus the minimum potential. This one another another still, uh, but still you see the setup still the same. So we just set that in the position there. Then it, this one is zero out the, the thing. Then you open the thing, it will come down and knock the things. So this one doesn't break and so on. So you repeat the same experiment over and over again. So experiment, you, what you do, uh, lab, lab technician, they will give you the, I think three sample, two or three sample. You take photo on that, right? Okay. Then you do, um, Okay, important is this energy equation, right? 
So everything uh, is inside the lab sheet already. Okay. So what you do, what you need to do for this one, because the machine is broke down, what you need to do is that you find the absorbed energy uh, from the part here. Right. So we assume that the room temperature is 16 centigrade. Centi uh, right. So um, so what I want you guys to do is you try to reverse the, the equation, right? Try to reverse the equation. Um, this Wednesday, what you do is that you go and measure the maximum height of the hammer because it's broken down, but you can ask the lab technician to show you what is the maximum height of the machine. You try to predict the, the this one, right? From this graph. Okay. You know the equation is this one, right? Uh, uh, this one. This one, right? Uh, this one. So you ask the lab tech, what is the maximum height they set? You reverse this and uh, this this uh, equation. KV here. Okay, this one you go online. You need to search some information. Uh, go here. Energy. Or. Okay, there are lots of chart here. Uh, okay, uh, here, library, all this. You go and find, then try to reverse the, the value. This one. Okay. Uh, although the machine is not, is not uh, working, but through this exercise, you should be able to understand how to calculate the energy to break the things. Okay, and how, what is a, uh, uh, how to do the chapter text. At least you understand uh, through the calculation and uh, numerical analysis. Uh. So this one, you try to improve this, this table, uh, this, this chart through your literature review. Means you go to find out in other textbook or uh, testing standard. Okay, generate uh, uh, or, or show that there is another table for that particular material. Okay. Uh. Improve this, uh, this one. Uh. Okay. So good, uh. first experiment. First experiment basically is a theory, more on theory. Uh, in your case, uh, because the machine broke down, but your 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 part is to uh, improve or reverse the, the calculation, find the estimated small h here. Okay, for maybe two material or three material, it depends. Uh. Okay, the best is three, minimum is two. Uh. You want high 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 marks for your lab report, you give three. So one minimum point, you give two. Or you forget to do this one, uh, then zero lah for first experiment. Okay. Second one is the microstructure. Microstructure, this one, um, you read lah, the procedure. The procedure. So basically, um, we already do the sample preparation for you. Of course, we'll still show you like what is the solution or how to how the process is being done? I, the lab tech will show you. Okay. Um, okay. Number two, microstructure examination. Uh, this one you you will use the microscope to to see uh, microscope to see. So what is expected is that okay, this one um um uh, standard structure of this one. This is a reference uh reference material. Uh, let me check if it's inside your canvas. Uh. Do you see this, uh, this, this, this one in your canvas? Okay, you go to appendix here. Um, let me know. Ah, yeah, it's inside here. Huh? So there are two material, uh, two books here, or two standard here. Go and uh, download, and uh, you can bring it to the lab, right, to see. Huh? so these two are important for second experiment. So you will see this one. So I show you the first document. 
with its standard microstructure. This one is the one that um, we we will we will show you. Like you will see number standard sample. What is that? All these things. So you have a twenty three sample over here. So each one of it have a different colors. So for example, that mouse steel, that mouse steel is the first one. Right, sample number one. You will see something like this, and then it will tell you uh, this is the expected. When you see under microscope, you see something like this. Then low carbon steel, you see a dark color like this. So this is sample number two, low carbon steel, and so on. There are 23 sample inside this um, so-called encyclopedia. Okay. So when you look into the microscope, uh, of course, uh, you can use the computer. I will, I will still teach you how to use that. Uh, you can either use your phone camera put on the microscope lens take photo or you can use the software snapshot the, the screen okay print screen so this is the first document you see all right so the lab tech will show you a few sample you take uh, what you see on under the microscope and then compare with this uh, standard microstructure and choose whether which one is the material Okay, uh, then after that, second material is this one. Huh? You see the, the lab asks you to do what? So microstructure, then it asks you to apply level rules. This one you will learn in our lecture, but um, you can do it later. But uh, in this experiment, you need to apply level rules to estimate percentage of carbon in the steel based on FE phrase diagram. So this one also, if you Google, they will tell you how to do, but now I will, I will tell you, I will, I will show you how to do. Huh? So on the microstructure, and this one also the same, you will see something like this. Okay, from the machine itself or from the lens, uh, you taken from your iPhone or other phones, if there's a photo come out from the microscope, right? So uh, this one is uh, uh, carbon steel. So you see this one. What you do is that you go to paint, you paste into the paint. You know what is paint, right? Paint apps, right? So you paste inside there. Then you activate the turn on the grid. There's a grid you can turn on on, on the paint. So once you turn on the, the grid, uh, so, so each grid will be, um, let me see. Each grid will be 1 mm. 1 mm or 10 mm already. Okay, this one, this one, uh, this the, the grid, the grid size um, you can set uh, as long as you can pick a good area, for example. This, these slides are, huh? for example, these slides. As long as you can pick an area with 20, 20 box multiplied by 20 box. Okay, so each microscope image, huh, you will have a scale or scale, like how many times you magnify. Okay, this, lens is, this is the first lens. Okay. First lens means you look inside there without magnification. Normally, this one is 10. You, 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 you enlarge 10 times. And then inside here, you can rotate one. This one got a few power. Right? So this one, you look at here, they got power one, 50x, 200x, 10x, and so on. I think there are some more than three. Lah. This one rotate one. Okay, so let's say you turn to this uh, 200x, and then this is your sample. Then you 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 are examining this one, right? Okay, those watching online or video, I'm drawing something on the whiteboard. All right, so the first on a computer screen, you capture the image like what you see on the screen here. So what is the magnification of this image? Oh, you get 10,000. 
This one is your eyes, right? How many lens you are seeing through? First lens. Second lens. So magnification is 10 multiply by this one. Let's say you, you turn to 200 and you get one image. So 200 means 200 max. So it's 2000 magnification. Means it two, you, you are seeing actually 2000 2, times. Okay. Right. So let's say you, you, you are using this one and you capture this one using your phone or, or snap screen or print screen. So this image is uh, this scale. So when you turn on the pin, right? You turn on pin, turn on a grid. Um, I forget already. It's either 1 mm or 10 mm. I forget already. Yeah. So it depends on the size of you have. Uh, I think it's 1 mm. So you turn on a grid. You see something like, like, like on the screen here. What is important is that you're able to, to, to have 20 grid. You're able to, to uh, generate a 20 over 20 means 400 grid. 400 small, small, uh, small, small there. Huh? Okay. So 20 times 20, you have 400 area. And, and then you start to count already. Huh? So inside this one, as long as you see the black color, more than 50%, more than 50% means the, you see this, this uh, green, this one is more than 50%. So you tick, huh? you tick, 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 and then you count. You count the first row, how many? And second row, how many? Then you add all together. In this case, so you see on this case here, the inside the 200, uh, 20 times 20 grid, you have 112. Okay, you have 112. So uh, this is a uh, polite. In this case, you have polite. So polite, percentage of polite, 112 divided by 400, you have 0.28%. Inside the this sample size, uh, 20, uh, 400 total area, uh, you are seeing 112 per light percentage, right? You have 0.28 percent. Okay, so here you are calculating the 0 0.28 percent. Huh? Okay, now how do you use the phrase diagram? We, we will come to this one, maybe another two more chapter. So, this one, so uh okay so how do you calculate this one uh, uh we'll go very uh, deep when we go come to phrase diagram uh, uh Okay, so this one you you read from this one. Well, I will still teach you how to use this one when you come to that. All right. I think it's too too early. I I I mentioned about all these things. Uh, you will see something like this on the microscope. Huh? Okay. okay. Percentage of uh, carbon. This one will come back to this one later. Important is the next next week of lab experiment. This one, huh? okay. The mechan ah, yes, beside that lab. Okay. Right. okay, so this one is a group report. If a team member who do not contribute, let me know. You don't put his name in your lab report, and uh, I will give him zero. One again. Okay. If he's if he or she do not contribute, lah. He don't want to attend. You you WhatsApp him. Don't reply. Uh, 
Then last, 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 you want to submit already, only come to you. Uh, you let me know. Uh. I'll straight away give that guy zero or that guy have to generate something. And I feel I feel one student before because of we do not contribute. Okay. So okay, so let the team member know lah if uh okay. I think you cannot work with this guy just that one now. Okay, so the third one is hardness measurement. This one is all everything is automated, right? Everything is automated. You just uh, put the sample there, press sample, uh, press button, and you get the readings. But however, there's a procedure of how to do the, the, the hardness test. Basically, you can read on the website. You just go hardness. Okay, so that's the information about this one. Uh, there's a video on that. Is behind there, All right? Okay, so uh, we have done with the the briefing for experiment two. Okay, so there are the discussion here, lah. Discussion. Uh, okay, so you are seeing this this machine inside there. Okay, so this is a hardness test, lah. Okay, hardness test, viscous, micro viscous test. Right. So go and find out information about this test. Right. Uh, so uh, the third experiment is by detecting uh, testing. So you'll be seeing this machine. Uh, let me see. Okay, you're seeing this machine inside the uh, this Wednesday test. What you need to do is that um, you need to dismount something from here. You need to miss this it. Uh, uh, not not okay. Not here. It's here somewhere here, because you need to you need to put in the sample. So you need to remove this one to the back. You need to lose it before that you can turn it. The grip is you need to dismantle it. Then you put in the sample. Then mount uh screw it. Then you put the thing back and screw it. Okay. Now um then you recall what is the way. Okay, then after you set everything secured, you test it already, you try to turn it, cannot turn. Okay, then there's a counter here. Counter leveraging counter means the motor turn one round, here will be jump to one. Eh? Okay, so this one, uh, very easy. Once you mount the sample, you press start. Then you will, you will, it will run, eh? run until I think 1000 or 2000 revolution already. It will take you like maybe three minutes. It's very noisy. Uh, so as long as you see the machine tap, uh, tap, it will stop automatically for you. Then you switch off all the power, switch all the power. Uh, then you take the sample. Out. So for this experiment, remember to take photo. Uh. So all the experiment, remember to take photo before and after. Okay, before and after. Uh. So before before test and after test, you can combine in one photo, label A, label B. So this is A, B. So caption, uh, uh, what uh, specimen or sample before test, B uh, is uh, comma, after experiment. Uh, do something like that, or you can break into separate photo. Okay, this is the second one. So. Then you calculate lah. This uh, you are given this kind of uh, specimen, so you need to put the thing. So each specimen has different RA. What is RA? You know how to read technical drawing, right? RA is here. So different RA, you have uh, 0.5 until two. LA is here. Uh, LA is here. Uh, LA is here. Means the we are, we are studying this area. Okay, so um, it's more on the sub ages. What what is the what is the 
effect of sharp edges and round edges. How will it affect your dynamic test? Right. So LA and uh, A mu is here also, right? So all these parameter, then number of changes of load. So they will, uh, you will see the cycle. This is cycle revolution. I mean revolution it takes for you to uh, this one. Huh? Okay. So again, all this information are available online. You can just go and uh, see how the people write your report and so on. Huh? Okay. Number five is uh, plastic material crack. This one. So this one is uh, experiment, what you do. So later, this one is another table. You go to another table with a tensile loading. So you cram the sample together, and then you start to give loading. You turn the wheel, you, you continue to pull the things. Okay, pull the thing, you need to pull it uh, slowly. And because once it's break, you are going to back to uh, zero. So what I recommend is that um, you take, if can, you take a video on the gauge there before you start. Uh, then you turn, 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 turn. Then you break part. Uh, then you can see the maximum load on the sample before it becomes zero. Okay. So here also take before and after, right? So before and after, you expected to see two behavior uh, on the sample. One, you will see a cup and cone uh, behavior. So like this one, you see the, like a cup uh, on the top and bottom. So this one is one, one, one pieces, and other pieces is uh, uh, like a sharp one. Uh. So you have this, this one, this is called cup and cone. This one, this material is, uh, we call it ductile material, means it's easily break away. Okay. Then this one is like a brittle material. You can see almost one straight line on the uh, broken here. Okay. So again, this one you take photo like what you see on the this uh, lab sheet here. You take before and after. Okay. Um, this one we we don't know where it will break, but once you uh, is for aluminium, aluminium you can see. But for carbon steel, you don't know which will it will it break. So it's better, not not better lah, but uh, video is the gauge. This one, this one, if you want to take video, also also can uh. Uh, So you can you just bring your camera stand uh, your your camera stand, put there, just the record. Uh. Okay. Then. Yeah, important is the, the, the evidence. Uh, you do experiment. Uh. Right. Then after that, um, this one. This one. Okay. So you look something like this. Very, very old machine. Right. Very old machine. So what you do is you, you cram your sample here. Then this one is like you uh, you're doing the the pressure lever. Up and down, I'm down. So you apply the the pressure. The jack will be here. You will, you will pull the object sample here. Then there is a gauge here. Uh, so maximum some of the gauge um, the the limit not limit lah, but the there's a, there's a stopper when you reach maximum. It will lock the value. Some is go to maximum already. So go to maximum. What you do in your report is say the value more than that maximum value. Do like this. So this one before the experiment, you need to measure the length and the uh, diameter. So this one you uh, mark three location, measure three three value, three value here, here, here. Get the average, then measure here, 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 and then measure measure the minimum. Uh, this one lah. So if you if your sample break, you just measure here to here lah. So like this sample, you measure here to here, no? or very near. Uh. 
no, uh, this one, this one, this one. You want to measure the diameter after it break, right? So you use the micrometer. You cram over here. Get the minimum. Hey, sorry. Oh, eh? why? Yeah. Okay. So means you you measure here. You go and measure. Okay. Here you measure something like this, ah. So. You have three sample ma. Uh, a sample ma. You you mark three, three. Uh, you can just measure one one one. Uh, it means you have three value. You get the average uh, diameter. Then this one you measure. After you break right, it will it will elongate one. You you sambung balik. Put on the table. Sambung balik. Then measure what is the final length. You measure the final length. So before the experiment, you have the two dot there. Uh, you two dot then uh, you just uh, sambung balik then you measure the maximum length uh, uh, then this one is the one you measure lot if broken one you just measure the minimum diameter okay so, yeah, yeah you mark three point, lah, three point because you don't know where it will break it will break here maybe break here you don't know but what what is the uh, objective here is to get the original length, measure the, the final length because it's elongate. So there is an equation there. Okay. This one. Percentage of reduction in area. This one, uh, initial cross section, pi r square, or pi d square over four, uh, minus final, divided by original, Area time 100%. Okay, so this one uh, you, you make the calculation, uh, put in the table. Okay, then you explain about this review. Okay, the third one take uh, uh, normally this one will take the longest time. This one is thermal conductivity, metal and non metal. Uh, okay, mm, okay. Basically, this one is a very simple setup. Give you a rod. This is a red dot. Okay. So they will give you a a pin. So the material is different. For each rod, you have I think three rods. So what you do? So uh, the first you you mark here, right? So you can put your they will give you a candle. You can put your candle here or here. Never mind. What is important is the location here and here. This length don't put too long. Huh? Too long, then you need to wait. Huh? So where you put this one? This one. You use the wax uh, or the candle wax, you put inside here and then glue it here. So it'll look like this. So, of course, you don't put here, like you put here. So, this length is like this good. I see 5 cm or 5 cm. I think 5 cm is enough. Lah. Longer you need to wait longer, but, uh, but in, important is this experiment doesn't it doesn't stay you if you can wait you put long, uh, but normally shorter is better lah. Uh. So the equation that you use is this one. So once you burn the heat will transfer from one point to another point, and once it is break down, once it's drop, you stop the the watch. Uh. So once you put the candle there, you start your watch, right? Start your watch. Then after you drop, then you take the time. You get the total time, right? Okay. So there is an equation for you to calculate. Basically, calculating the H. H equal to dQ dt equal to K times A divided by delta T and T. So once we derive, you find the K for that, huh?
calculate the flux. This one is a thermal conductivity. So in the lab, we will tell you what is this material. Okay. So what is this material? So this one, you go read your, go and find material for the, for the property. It is the K value for the material. All right, then you, you, uh, you just rework back the equation. Okay. Uh, what is important for this, uh, this uh, experiment? is to know the length that you set, then the time that it takes from here to here. Uh, then um, once you have this one, you go and find the calculation for this one. You, uh, this one also you measure uh, the diameter of the this one, because you need to find the volume for this one. Okay, this one you need to discuss how the thermal conductivity of metal non metal different by using the parameter that you measure. Okay. okay these are the experiment that expected uh, this this Wednesday. Okay. Right now the format of the lab report you know already right standard right our page then the structure will be experiment one of course the team member name here number one uh what is that then there is the diagram for that one like what you did for your spm uh, the lab report uh. Uh, different uh. okay so uh okay experiment introduction this one is on theory uh. This one you open up all the textbook related to that particular topic. This one introduction maybe one page. Huh? Uh, I will show you lah, but they are not very good lah. Better than nothing. Uh, uh, okay. Than uh, so one page then okay, after introduction. Then you go to your method or methodology. Step one, do what? Step two, do what? Step three, do what? Okay, with diagram, lah, with all the diagram, all this. Okay, see results. Result means your table, your graph. If you have graph, then put in graph. Discussion. Okay, discussion, discuss with similar equation. Argue about your statement. Okay, when you get certain graph, explain why. Okay, then E conclusion. F reference. Okay, so basically, um, for one experiment, we expect to have one page of theory. Uh, result maybe half pages, uh, half to one pages according to the graph that you have, or some some you have photo. Like for example, the microstructure one, you have lots of photo. So you put in the photo because all this you have before and after and all this. So result this one, maybe minimum, la, you have two pages. Uh, expecting will be have four to five pages with photo and graph. Huh? So discussion, 
this one it depend I was expecting one page of discussion. Right. Uh, then complete paragraph. One paragraph or half pages maximum. Reference, I already show you how to do. Okay. Uh, so basically that like that. Lah. Any question? 